And so it's a night light at night. And you don't need to turn the light on, it lights up the whole living room. And when we first got it, it turned it on, just about go as crazy but second hand. And now we're used to it. We quit running me and Mandy for two months. You know, I get up I get up at five o'clock in the morning and I'm gonna break my neck. And they finally got it back and said. But Missouri and Neon has been the only one I could ever find that would take the time to work on They liked the clock. And so they found a motor and replaced it, which is not really their deal. But the, the Neon's been replaced once and I've had two transformers for them. The neat car. It's, you know, the, have you ever seen the Coca-Cola thing on the Brown Derby? Side of the Brown Derby? Yeah. That, that's a, that was put on there in 1948. And that's what's in the middle of this clock, is her. That's a typical early 50s or 48. That sign, is, is, has it been freshened up in all of the years? Or? Someone who owned the Brown Derby hired somebody to freshen it up. But what they did is they covered up the name of the guy who painted it, and they covered up the 1948 date. Really? Yeah. Uh, Coca-Cola had given me um, I told him, I told Coca-Cola we could do it for 300 and they sent me a check for 150 and I was going to have George Long do it. And before I could get over there and get them stopped, they painted over it. Uh -huh. So I still got my $150 check, 20, 20 years old. <laughs> well, let's go. Here? Here. 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 Since one had a chance to read the previous minutes. Mm -hmm. So they will stand approved as read. Yes. Okay. Need a motion to amend the agenda, please. I motion to approve or amend. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, financial reports at the end of October. We uh, close the month at one million nine forty seven and four seventy three. Um, still staying a little high there because we've just not paid out uh, like the airport project. It went down today. It went down today. I mean, I hit it pretty hard today, so it's it's down in one one eight area. But we'll wait and see after the fifteenth and some payments come in. Uh, park fund still running a little negative, but that happens right after the pool season. It'll, it'll catch up here in a month or two. So. Okay, we have a pending ordinance, ordinance number 1026, and that's for the um, the UTVs and golf carts and uh, low speed vehicles. So, reading by title, an ordinance to amend chapter 94 traffic and vehicles of the Code of Ordinances, City of Ava, Missouri, by repealing section 94. 73, all terrain vehicles, off-road vehicles, and UTV, and replacing it with a new section 9473, utility vehicles, or golf cart, low-speed vehicles. Motion to approve first reading. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. Hold on just a second. Okay, second reading of Ordinance 1026 is an ordinance to amend Chapter 94, Traffic and Vehicles of the Code of Ordinances, City of Ava, Missouri, by repealing Section 9473, All-Terrain Vehicles, Off-Road Vehicles, and UTV, and replacing it with a new Section 9473, Utility Vehicles, or Golf Cart, Low-Speed Vehicles. Motion to approve second reading. Motion to approve. The second. I second. All in favor. Uh, All right. Gee, go ahead. Hey, you have a copy of that? Hand that down to where I used Please. Okay. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll talk just a little bit about this resolution. So we're going to jump down to the bathroom and center of the square. We've talked about bathroom for the lower part. And, uh, Evidently, we did not have to hire an engineer to design that. We've got the drawings for 
and inspect on the other park, uh, the, uh, park the other bathroom, and I would use those. We'll have to get two local people to give us an estimate of the cost. And that's all we're going to have to do there. We've got, got some other things to do there as far as specs are concerned. But that's all we're going to have to do on that. So that's going to not be as difficult as we thought. Yeah. We do need a resolution. We do not have to have a public hearing on the bathroom. Yeah. But we will have to have a resolution from the board saying we don't, indicating we want to go forward. And, and that, that's going to be the first resolution. The, the next resolution excuse me, has to do with a proposal, actually came from the, out of the committee down on the square. We had talked, we had a, we had a grant there for sidewalks and it was not approved and we were thinking we would re, uh, re-enter it for approval. And this particular thing had to do with the square and it's talking about taking the asphalt out, putting the grass in, putting the sidewalk all the way around the inside and making it ADA accessible, which it is not at this time. Going out where the highway department has put their wonderful um, crosswalks and making them accessible <coughs> on the sidewalk in front of the business plate. Most of those are not ADA accessible, maybe one of them, one over at Dan Wade's office, for example, they've got one there in the crosswalks in the wrong, or the crosswalks there and they've got the access in the wrong place. So uh, 2020 is going to be our deadline on some of that ADA stuff. We'll, we'll, not, we'll not meet it completely, but uh, this is an effort to comply with it. And also, this plan leaves everything in the square. The gazebo is not bothered, the, the poles that are there aren't bothered, the trees aren't bothered. So you're talking about a new sidewalk around the edge, the corners, ADA, and a new curving, new curving gutter. And probably in the process we're, we're probably, um, probably going to want to run water back to the square. And for one thing, if, if, if we choose to do this and we go through with this, uh, you're going to sod the, gra the grass is going to be sod. And I don't want to be down there on Saturday mornings with my garden hose trying to figure out how to water all of that. So we're, we're probably looking at a sprinkler system of some kind or, or something. I mean, that, that's something to consider with that much grass, especially if we're going to sod it. Okay. Not nearly as big a project as a sidewalk project in terms of money. Yeah, I don't, don't think it will be anything like that. Now, these resolutions are merely, that doesn't mean for sure that we're going to do it. It just means that at this point, uh, we're going to take the first step. The next step may make us decide not to do it. We have to have a public hearing on that. So, you know, there's another step or two before we even we can get there, but I'll, that's resolution <coughs> three. That's what those are. So, David, have we looked at uh, just kind of the number of parking spaces that uh, we would lose? Uh, it doesn't look like many, but I haven't actually counted. I know. Well, he told uh, John Clef told me, or I thought he told me seven, but I got down there and looked, and I. I haven't looked at how he figured that, but just going down there and counting spaces, I figure about 20. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that's probably 22, a little somewhere in there. Yeah. Then, uh, and then you can change the angle of the parking spaces and gain some. And but didn't you say that the north and south side would have outside parking? Well, yeah, there, there, there are two on each, two on the north and the south. So, them, and the square, I know the sense, but the square is square. You've got you've got about ten or eleven parking spaces on each side, inside and out. Maybe eleven on the out and ten. So you know it's so you can figure you've got about uh, twenty on this side and twenty here in the middle. Uh, I think I figured thirty-eight actually, and then about six, 
then then twenty minus the four. I came up with I came up with twenty two. But if you eliminate twenty two parking spaces on the outside, you're going to have another forty. And then in front of the businesses, you've got another forty or forty five. Which I don't believe we're going to have a parking problem on the square. I watched it today, just off and on when I went through, and, and the maximum amount I seen in the center of the square was six. That might change tomorrow, but that's something that yeah. I, uh, yeah, I yeah. Would, would we eliminate some parking spaces? But they could have been out on the outside. Yes, yeah. 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 would we eliminate some parking spaces? Yes, we would. Is it going to hurt parking on the square? Absolutely not. There's no, you know. Uh, I guess uh, another, just a question, what about the, the Saturday uh, growers market? How would that affect them? Well, they, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't be in the middle of the square, but you you still, if this was were the middle, you're still gonna have all of this area. Now, they, they use some on, some on the outside. Anyway, yeah. uh -huh. but it would have to all be on the outside. There isn't any reason in the world why I'm saying it can't be, but I haven't seen anybody run over with customers down there on Saturday. But uh, we, even if those places were all taken, we still got 45 parking spaces. Well, a lot of them set up their own little canopy tents too, and, mm -hmm. and they could do that on the ground. Yes. I, you know, have, we've had a few on the east side, and maybe a one or two on the ends, but most that were outside. I saw on the mm -hmm. west side. Mm -hmm. So. Anyway, that where we are with the resolution is that's just a first step. And, and if if we run it, I mean, it doesn't mean it can't be stopped any time. If we run into a hitch on it somewhere, this is just to so, start the paperwork process. Yeah, we can't we can't we can't do anything in regard to either one of those without a resolution from us. So, uh, so I. Okay. Well, usually I put a title on these resolutions, and I don't know why I did not this time. But what I have is Resolution 2017-1107, um, the grant for the lower park bathrooms is through the Land and Water Conservation Fund, yeah, so I titled it with that. Yeah. Uh, we need... Um, a motion to approve that resolution for the bathroom. I'll make that motion. Okay. Second. Okay. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And I would like to have a motion to approve the one for the center of the square. And that is resolution number 2017 1108. Yeah. I'll make that motion. Okay. Motion to approve. Need a second. I'll second that motion. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Now, the this last motion has to do with the demolition grant and we need to talk about it and uh, it involves some property and what I'd like to do is, is wait and talk about that and close and we'll come out of close and see what we want to do with the resolution at that time we talked about it and that's not anything that we can't tell you in the morning so in fact, I don't think there's anything in close that we have to wait on. So, um, I'll, so I'm going to skip that and I'll come down. We've talked about the grand application. The playground equipment, the lower park is ordered, the playground. Uh, we had a piece of equipment for the upper that was metal and rusted in two, and we went ahead and completely replaced that. And it's been combined with the other order from Miracle when we don't think it, say two or three hundred dollars on freight by doing that. So we're waiting on four pieces of equipment, excuse me, four pieces for the lower part and one for the upper. We've not started to dig down there yet. Uh, Kelly Beats, who is from Merman, does our inspection of the uh, safety inspection. I guess it's in that what he, yeah. And uh, I told him having him here was like having the DNR or the DEA come in. 
But uh, anyway, he talked to me a little bit about what we've done down there, and and he was very very pleased with it. And then went down and examined it, and was pleased. And he knows. And we're going to do the other part of it just like this. And uh, so unless he found something else, and I don't think he did, uh, it was a good inspection. He's done away with the requirement that we need a fence for the <coughs> skate park. They had, to, yeah, they had to go before their board and get um, board approval for them to remove that yeah. from our did, but they did that for yeah, us. So cause just, I'm glad. So mm -hmm. I mean, it didn't didn't hurt us, but it, you can't get a can't get a hundred percent if you. So anyway, we, we will now. We hope. Anyway, um, Kelly's a nice guy. I, I really hadn't known him, but he. He's, uh, he's there to keep everybody's put out of the beer track. So far, we've done really well. Uh, I don't know if I told you or not, I got a call from the HUP. They're not going to be able to get our parking lot, the cracks sealed and coated and striped. They've just been so busy this fall, and I told her it didn't matter next spring to be all right. So, and that's not, that's not a big costly thing. It'll be next spring. We got uh, the bases on the big poles on the square were made of a different material and they didn't look quite right. And we've gotten those painted with um, a latex with uh, glossy to match the poles. Then we went over some time back, about three or four months ago, uh, James Barnett called and wanted to know if they could borrow a city truck to paint those light poles in their parking lot. And no, we, we wouldn't be able to do that. And they've not been able to get them painted. And if you think any of our stuff looked bad, you should have seen those two poles over there. And they're taller than any one of our big poles on the corner. So Greg finished painting those over the weekend, sanded them down, primed them, painted them black. So, Just so they know who Greg is, you want to tell them their last name, his last name? Greg Mesa? Yeah. 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 Greg did a good job, and we used our truck to do that. There isn't any way in the world you can paint them without having the truck. Now, he, he didn't use the truck by himself. Yeah. Told me or one of the guys went up and stayed in the bucket with him and strapped him in and all that kind of stuff. So we got that done, and uh, then I, I let Copeland know it. It's, you don't realize how bad they looked until you got them painted. Riley Dodson is here. He's he's taken down five houses over at school. Uh, I wonder if they got the one cleaned up that they're on the corner today. It was just about cleaned up this morning. Yeah, that's about all he liked was cleaning that little house up. Yeah, on the corner and the two sheds. Um, but they'll be done in two, two hours. You know. And then he'll then he'll start on our set. We have uh, we had two or three places that had telephone wires connected lines connected to them, which our city boys uh, removed one way or the other. Uh, we had um, the one that burned uh, Sickler down down below the post office. The one that the museum owns in Carol Riggs' house, all three have a gas line that's got to be removed. The meter's gone, and we've done our part. But uh, we can't do anything there until they get here this week that we call the reminding. So uh, that's where we are. Uh, my house is ready, and uh, one over on Elm or Northeast, Northeast 6th Avenue. So we've got two ready and maybe those that take him maybe a day and a half and maybe we can get, get the others ready to go. Um, I'd leave anything out. Just quick pockets. You don't have any idea taking those two houses down over there with their parking lot, how much it'll save the city. In, in stationary. 
<laughs> but I said to the old boy that owned them, trying to get him to clean it up. Boy, it's glad to see those go. Yeah, me too. Yeah. He's got one more that needs to go, and it's over on what we call Hampton. That's because Hampton moved all of the houses over there. Uh, Northwest 6th Avenue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's down at the end. Keep hoping the creek will wash it away. Uh, let's see, we had the dockets. You approve on the court dockets, please. I'll make a motion to approve the court dockets. I'll second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to go in and close. That motion is closed. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.